often we will have data from weekly, monthly, daily, daily sources, and if we use that data or calculate means and variances using that data, it will be stated on a whatever whatever basis the data is that it was created on. So if we have daily data, calculate the mean from that daily data, the mean is given a day, on a daily basis. What we often want to do is state that daily, mean, monthly, or weekly data, or that periodic data, and state it in its annual equivalent. If you look at any prospectus or any reporting on financial data, the returns and standard deviations are stated on a annual or yearly equivalent almost always, 99.99% of the cases. So we're going to describe how you take data that is daily, monthly, weekly, or whatever it is, and stated in its annual equivalent. There are two formulas to do that. Here is the annualized, here is the annualized periodic returns approach. And so this would be taking data from a daily, monthly, weekly basis given by R sub P and stating it on an annual yearly return. And it's this formula. If you look at that formula, what you're doing is taking the average calculating the compounded return over the M periods and subtracting 1. So it's, it's, it's taking the data, compounding it forward, and compounding it, take, calculating that, that annual return compounded, and then stating that as the yearly basis. M here is the number of periods in the annual basis. It's 251. If we're looking at daily periods, it's not 365, it's 251 because typically there's 251 trading days in a year. Saturdays and Sundays aren't trading days, so if you look at most of the data you see, they aren't trading on Saturdays and Sundays or holidays. On average, it works out to be 251. Monthly returns, you got 12 monthly periods in a year. And 52 weeks. So that is the way we calculate annualized periodic returns for the means. For standard deviations, all right, but here is that formula stated for daily returns. So this is the formula. All we did was put 251 for M here. That 251 would be 12 if we had monthly and 51 if we had weekly returns. Standard deviations. Here's how we standardize or calculate the annualized standard deviation. The standard deviation on a yearly basis equals the periodic times the square root. And the square root is 251. M is 251 for daily data, 12 for monthly period, 52 for weekly period. Those are the two formulas that we use. Now we're going to apply it in our case. Here is daily data for Bear and Amazon, and this goes from 1997 to 2020. Here's daily returns. We calculate the mean, we calculate the geo mean, and we calculate the standard deviation for Bear and Amazon. Those are on a daily basis. Now we want to annualize those, and I'm going to do the annualized return over here. And here are, just for convenience, I put our two formulas here. Here's our how we annualize our means and our standard deviations. So if we do this, 1 plus mean, and our weekly, our daily mean, raised to the 251, minus 1, copy that down, 6 for the geo mean, do the standard deviation, so I want to do equals this, times square root of 251, there we have it, I'm going to put this on percentage terms, so this 
0.05% daily return works out to be a 13% annual return. 0.02 works out to be 6.5 annual return. 2.2% works out to be a 34.8% standard deviation. Copy those over to the Amazon case, and we have the Amazon-based returns. So that's how you take daily data and annualize them.